Hello everyone. Welcome back to Edutainment. Today's video is an overview of Sultan Al Niyadi's six month stay in International Space Station. The purpose of this mission is to conduct the 19 experiments assigned to Sultan Al Niyadi by different UAE universities to perform the tasks assigned by NASA and to do maintenance work on ISS. Greetings from the International Space Station. Space is amazing, and living here is not like what we used to on Earth. Ask me a question, and I'll try to answer it in a simple, scientific way, so we can all learn something new. Looking forward to hearing from you. Two, one, engines full power, and lift off. A clear stick. Go Dragon, go Falcon. I would like to say thank you to, for everybody. Thanks to my parents, my family, Thanks to our leadership, the Mohammed Barash Space Center for their trust. Thank you for everybody who trained us and got us ready for this mission. This is incredible. Launch was incredible, amazing. Thank you so much. And last but not least, thank you NASA. Thank you SpaceX for flying us to space. Go Dragon, go SpaceX. And allow me to introduce our fifth crew member. His name is Suhail. And Suhail is the Arabic name for the star Canobus. And in the Middle East, we anticipate the appearance of Canobus because it marks the end of summer and the beginning of cool time. And Canobus is actually the second brightest star in the night sky. And this is the second flight for uh, Suhail because he flew with uh, astronaut Hazar Mansouri in 2019. And many people think Suhail is uh, an, an alien, but to me, on Earth, in a space suit, but with high ambitions. Thank you once again, and talk to you from the ISS. Sultan Al Niyadi comes on board the International Space Station. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> قائد الفضائية وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته طويل العمر الله يسلمك ويطول عمرك الحمد لله وصلنا إلى محطة فضاء دولية ونحن بأحسن حال شو الأبحاث اللي تسويها الحين هناك جدول مزدحم حاليا في طاقم راح يغادر المحطة بعد ثلاثة أيام وطاقمنا راح يستلم المهام هذه كاملة وعلى مدار الستة أشهر في هناك أبحاث علمية تقريبا عندنا عدد لا بأس به من التجارب العلمية اللي بتشارك فيها دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة سلطان هل أقلمت الحين على المحطة الفضائية؟ طويل الأمر أنا <تصفيق> ربما كنت مازح الجميع أقول لهم عندنا سهيل ربما أحسن مني في, في الانعدام الجاذبية في الحركة أنا لا زلت أتعلم ولكن إن شاء الله أن الحركة تكون أفضل في, في الأيام القادمة بروك وموفق والله يحفظك شكرا يا طويل العمر وسعيد بهذا الاتصال شكرا جزيلا
Welcome to the Space Games, and today we're playing uh, Space Dart, starting uh, with Andre and Steve. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, rise, rise, rise the stick. Okay. <laughs> Sultan Al Nayadi becomes the first Arab to do a spacewalk. The Emirati astronaut is aboard the International Space Station for a six month mission. This Friday, he stepped outside with NASA astronaut Steve Bowen to work to upgrade the module's power generation capabilities. He is the second man from the Gulf state to go to space after Haza Al Mansouri's eight day mission in 2019. <laughs> هذه مدينة جدة عروس البحر الأحمر وبجنبها بيت الله الحرام ومهبط الرسالة على صاحبها أزكى الصلاة والتسليم this is UAE from the ISS International Space Station. This is astronaut is Sultan Al Niyadi. is taking the video from his station, and he can show the ISS view, UAE view from the ISS. You can see the weather fogs and the cloud. Allowed. You can see this is Palm Jumeirah and this is Jumeirah Beach, Kite Beach. You can see the cloudy weather and this is the Rashid port and this is the Sharjah area. You can see the view from the ISS from the space. Where المستحيل كلمة قالوها ناس معافاة هي لا وجود لها إذا عند الإرادة وإرادة الإنسان First, uh, to the medical bay, the return to gravity can be pretty jarring on the human body so we slide them down a little dragon fun slide uh, assist them uh, into the um, the wheeled chair and uh, roll them over to the medical bay. And just like that, the fourth crew member, one hour exactly on the nose since splashdown, um, has now egressed from